When St. Louis University students return from winter break next week, a new friend will be waiting for them, tail wagging, ready to welcome them back to campus. Yeah, the university will be one of the first colleges in the country to have a full-time facility dog to help with students' mental health, and a local organization is answering a crucial need. Woody, let's go. Meet Woody, a two-year-old Labrador retriever who has been training his whole life to help people. But until this week, he didn't know where that would be. Now, he's a Billiken. He was hand-selected for this work. His personality, the training that he's had, how he interacts with people. He was selected to be one that could really work all day long and provide support where needed. Don Van Houten is the CEO of Duo Dogs, a St. Louis organization breeding, raising, and training service dogs. She says a couple of years ago, a relationship was formed between Duo and SLU. Our students are no different than young people really across the nation and across the world. Um, you know, we are seeing uh, heightened levels of stress and anxiety, um, and it's really not uncommon. There were several suicides on campus. There had been some, some tragedy on campus, and I believe they were looking for some different solutions to help students deal with the stress that they were under and, and just dealing with that news. So Duo had nearly a dozen of their touch therapy dogs visit campus during a student wellness day. The impact was instant. It's immediate joy on their face. They're laughing, they're smiling, they come over, they interact. Um, you can almost see their shoulders relax a little bit as they're sitting there with, with the touch therapy dogs. Um, so it's really exciting to see just some of that stress almost melt away. That effect on students led to the idea to have a permanent working dog on SLU's campus. And this is our first one that's going to be on a university campus in an academic setting, um, helping in a mental health capacity for students on campus. We're going to go see some students. When he's working with Becca over in our counseling center, he may experience a student with a higher level of stress or even high anxiety. So he's prepared to be there and be a presence to support Becca in her work and be there for the student in their moment of maybe heightened, uh, you know, a mental health challenge. Woody will have four handlers on campus. Tori is the lead handler. She'll take Woody home and care for him when he's not on the job. Are you both prepared to stop every 10 feet and let students pet all the time? <laughs> Your commute's going to become a little bit longer. Right, yeah. right. you got to leave about 15, 20 minutes in between <laughs> meetings now. I can't have back-to-back -back meetings. I'm so sorry. Of course, I had to grab a photo with a new big dog on campus. We're all smiles. A Woody is going to elevate the overall mood on campus. We place dogs all over the United States, and so this is the first time that we've placed one with a university. So I, I, maybe it's going to be a thing now, because again, we're looking for different solutions to help people. What a good boy. Yeah. Oh, and I can happily say Woody officially graduated from his training today, so he will be well, uh, ready to welcome those students next week. And something I really uh, interesting, I learned facility dogs that are placed, and sometimes they can be placed at uh, nursing homes, hospitals, we've seen them in courthouses, but they serve until they're 10. Okay. So Woody is two, so it's going to be eight years works. that he's going to be there on uh, SLU's campus really helping out a lot of students. So yeah. it was fun to put that together. He's really, really important yeah. for those students. I'm a little